Suppose for a moment you're doing some chemistry, and you want to use simple unsaturated molecules to make complex natural ring systems. Six-membered rings are a necessary part of many biochemical systems. This appears to be quite a difficult challenge. How do synthetic chemists and nature create some of these six-membered rings? One of the most thoroughly studied solutions to this problem is called the Diels-Alder reaction. The Diels-Alder reaction allows specific reactants to form six-membered rings. The reactants come in the form of a conjugated diene in an S-cis conformation and a double bond coupled to a conjugated electron withdrawing group, such as a carbonyl. The first molecule is called a diene, and the second molecule is called a dienophile. The reaction between the dienophile and diene could look a bit like this. The carbonyl oxygen withdraws electron density from the double bond, generating a partial positive charge at the terminal carbon. This action facilitates the transfer of electrons from the highest occupied molecular orbital of the diene into the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of the dienophile. This approach was first described by Otto Paul Hermann Diels and Kurt Alder in 1928. This process is not just limited to simple organic molecules. The Diels-Alder can also be applied to produce complex natural products. Esterone is a complex natural product with many six-membered rings, some of which can be formed by using the Diels-Alder reaction. If you want to use the Diels-Alder reaction to make this molecule, you would think that you would need a lone double bond in one of these rings, like in our simple example. But you're smart, so you've used a palladium on charcoal catalyst to reduce the double bond and get to the final product. So the real target for the Diels-Alder reaction is this. If we were to label the rings A, B, C, D, the C ring could be made from an A, B ring diene and a D ring dienophile. And just like that, you've nearly synthesized the natural product simply by taking two far simpler molecules. An area of chemistry that the Diels-Alder shines in is in the stereochemistry of complex molecules. Since the relative stereochemistry of the dienophile is conserved, a complex natural product like reserpine can be synthesized, starting with the classic Diels-Alder. Reserpine was found in the Indian snake root and has many psychological and physiological properties. Although it is not used much today in lieu of more specific drugs, reserpine is still an important focus for retrosynthesis today. Let's label the rings A, B, C, D, and E. Looking at the DE ring system, you can see a vast amount of chiral carbons in the E ring. If you want to synthesize the natural product, you must devise a means of acquiring this chirality. If you can create a DE ring system with some of this chirality, you could be set for success on a natural product synthesis. Using the Diels Alder, you choose these two seemingly unsuspecting molecules. However, you know that the dienophile maintains its relative stereochemistry after the Diels Alder reaction. You also know that thanks to the stabilization brought about by the molecular orbital secondary overlap, that these two molecules generate almost exclusively the endo product. Using the Diels-Alder reaction, you've set up three of the five chiral centers in one fell swoop, leading you into one of the most examined syntheses of the 20th century. Going one step further to obtain a desired chiral product is to use the chiral catalyst and facial selectivity that is privy to the Diels Alder. Imagine that there was a drug that had fantastic antiviral properties, but only one enantiomer of the drug was effective. Using a chiral catalyst, we can essentially block off one face of the dienophile, thus preventing the unwanted facial reaction. This was the strategy used by the world famous Elias James Corey, or EJ Corey for short. In the first step of the synthesis, you coupled two great molecules with a sophisticated chiral catalyst. As described, this catalyst blocks one face of your dienophile and generates the desired relative stereochemistry. And although this may not appear important right now, it sets up the chirality for the rest of the molecular synthesis. In summary, whether it's Tamiflu, Esterone, or Reserpine, it's clear to see. The Diels-Alder reaction, although simple in concept, is a phenomenally powerful reaction with many potentiating factors. The Diels-Alder enables you to generate complex chiral ring systems ideal for novel natural product synthesis.